अनुसंधान ऑल गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी इतले संधान गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स आई एम हियर फॉर द एडिबल वुमन रिटन बाय मार्गरेट एटवुड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सेलिब्रेटेड राइटर्स ऑफ कैनेडियन लिटरेचर uh one of the most celebrated writers of canadian literary firmament is margaret atwood her novels and poems mark distinct impression on the reader of english literature and human sensibility the title of the novel the edible woman is catchy and st- startling and so is the design themes narrative and characterization all these features project the author as a master craftsman and an engaging storyteller before we discuss the novel let me uh, survey briefly the the canadian women writers who have portrayed uh, women characters uh and the condition of women characters anna jameson in 1848 presented uh, an account of life led by gallant women in canada braving an unhappy marriage another was rosanna mullins uh, in her secret marrying and secret sorrowing she presented the uh, difficulties of conscientious girls susanna mudi in roughing in the woods in the bush presented social indignation her writings prompted other writers to present stories of aspiration and frustration of everyday life uh, in roughing in the bush she could not let down her barriers when she was writing but her work is important as a canadian document when american novels uh, focused on male cast of characters and the tendency was metaphysical mrs modi followed a different line her work is realistic sociological personal and centered in a feminine point of view many writers followed her presenting the socio comic story of aspiration and frustration of everyday life that is roughing it in the bush another important writer sara janet duncan the imperialist presents young heroine coping with a restrictive code of courtship martha ostenso another important writer uh, in 1925 she wrote wild geese uh, that novel powerfully portrayed her heroines and they were lonely facing harsh land and harsh family reality the continuing portrayal of one special kind of woman ambitious convention ridden sensitive anxious aesthetically gifted yearning for liberation from the re- restraints of her environment is significant montgomery in her blue castle presented a rebellious heroine but at the end found herself pulled into a fairy tale the most essential thing here is that women could write and express the limiting constraints of the convention ridden society uh the canadian lady recognizes a force straining the already complicated web of canadian life so all these authors tried to present the heroines in world full of challenges and anxiety but about to revolt but could not margaret atwood picks up the thread and weaves another significant work in her novel the edible woman she is the part of
the distinct female literary tradition as described above. This novel, uh, The Edible Woman, written in 1969, continues to probe into frustration and anxiety of the protagonist. The novel helped to establish Atwood as uh, a prose writer of major significance. There is an autobiographical element in the book. Atwood initially worked at Canadian Fax Marketing from 1963 to 1964. Uh, she had to uh, continue fact checking and editing questionnaires. Then uh, similar work environment as it is uh, described in the novel, uh, she faced uh, Marian finds in Seymour's surveys and similar characters uh, Atwood found in her life. Her boyfriend was also fond of photography and later uh, the boyfriend became the uh, fiancé of Margaret Atwood. Uh, a quote um, by Natalie Cook, Atwood worked for Canadian Fax Marketing for almost a year which had a similar work environment to the institution where the heroine of the book worked. Uh, this is uh, the title and the significance uh, can be marked out with a, a lady on the cake. This is one of the fifth prints. There are several prints of the novel. Women's movement in 1960s acted as a catalyst to generate greater awareness of the need for self-definition and self-assertion among Canadian women. Also the widespread preoccupation with the quest for distinctive cultural identity in Canada in the post-1960s contributed to strengthening the desire to assert a distinctive feminine identity comparable to and compatible with the male in culture as well as literature. The background of the novel is 1960s as we have uh, noticed. Uh, the attempted domestication of women or male domination persisted and women must be supportive and submissive. That is the most essential part of the society. One cannot move away from society. Margaret Atwood continues to probe into the frustration and anxiety of the protagonist, the condition of women continue to be the same in the modern world where one is forced to revolt first against the self and then against the society and find the solution. In one of his poems, Stenographers, P. K. Page presents a picture of a modern working woman. In the felt of the morning, the calico-minded, sufficiently starched, insert papers, hit keys. The above lines present a working woman, a typist. The post-World War era opened a vista for women's education and uh, employment possibilities. The protagonist of the novel, Marian McAlpine, is a college graduate. She is appointed at a market research firm at Seymour Surveys and is assigned a task of writing survey questions and uh, sampling products. She shares a top floor of apartment with Ainsley and as a boyfriend, Peter. Initially, she enjoys her job but isn't very much sure about uh, the job. Peter desires her not as a life partner but as only a female body. Margaret Atwood is a proto-feminist. Uh, she says this because she believes that uh, she started writing in 1965. Uh, the novel Edible Woman was germinated and uh, the second wave uh, of feminism appeared one or two years later. She believes in depicting the society as it is. Her central character operates within the society 
and reacts as an individual demystified. Atwood's fictions cannot be conveniently labeled as a feminist, nationalist or modernist only. But nominant concerns and issues in her novels are women's liberation from patriarchal structures of dominion and power. So Marian, the central character uh, in the first part of the novel, the novel has three parts. The first part is narrated in first person, second part is narrated in third person singular and uh, the last part is once again in first person. So in the post-war Canada, women had an opportunity to get education. As we have seen, after the education, they were offered jobs of typist, secretary, factory workers, sales or marketing personnel or domestic services. It gave a sense of economic independence. So the heroine, uh, Ma Ma Mariam Mel McAlpine, is a surveyor at the Seymour Surveys and uh, the recognition of her acceptance only as a body makes her anxious when uh, her lover Peter considers her as a female body. So that causes an anxiety and she continues to search for the self that is one of the most important uh, themes of the novel. Identity crisis is one of the most important themes. Uh, Margaret Atwood's female characters are intelligent, self-absorbed modern women searching for their identity and uh, she also comments on the problem of uh, national identity because uh, America is seen as a big brother and uh, overpowering patriarchal phenomenon and uh, Canada as a feminine one who, who continuously makes an attempt to uh, get away from the clutches of the big brother. So national identity is also focused uh, in, her, in, in her many of her novels uh, in, in surviving in, in uh, life before man, in, in cat's eyes, in oracle, etc. The structure of uh, the novel Before we uh, go to the structure, the protagonist and the society, Ma Margaret Atwood is very, uh, very intensely uh, describes the, the the social structure, uh, which, and she believes that social structure can uh, be changed. That there can uh, a change can be brought about uh, in the social structure with the uh, recognition uh, one gets. So, Marianne McAlpin, the protagonist, works as a survey firm called Seymour Surveys, a consumer company. The work condition is not pleasant, it is boring, stagnant, trapping and male dominance persists. The, the structure itself, uh, the, the novel structure is divided into three parts, as I said, the narrative is divided into three parts, as the structure of the novel is also divided into three parts. One is uh, uh, all men, I think uh, this gives you an idea. The workplace of the protagonist, Marian, uh, where, where, where she works, it is a three-storied building. On the ground floor, there are all machines. On the second floor, uh, the same or surveys where she works, uh, they are all uh, women work. And uh, on the last floor, all men work. They all represent, the all men uh, represent mind, all, all women work represent body and all machines. So the, the protagonist finds herself sandwiched between uh, uh, mind and machine and she becomes an edible object as, as the picture here shows the ice cream sandwich. So the symbol of food and uh, the symbol of trap uh, is very obvious in, in, in the novel. 
the heroine is uh, sandwiched between machine and mind and as you can see here uh, in all men we have a capital but in all women we do not have a capital even this kind of uh, schematic uh, arrangement can be seen the narrative technique as as we have earlier referred to uh, gives three parts of the novel the first part of narrative technique is first person the second part of narrative technique is third person and the third part of narrative technique is the one first person again uh, here are character groups marian the uh, heroine the protagonist the peter and uh, another character is duncan and we have uh, the image of hunter and hunted ainsley and len uh, ainsley is the room partner the ainsley uh, shares the room with marian and that is one of the uh, another uh, feature of uh, autobiographical element in the novel that uh, even uh, margaret atwood shared uh, uh, an apartment while she was studying uh, she is the female version of ainsley is the female version of peter and there is one more character group clara and joe clara was once a model for an advertising agency but uh, she marries joe and succumbs to family uh, and then disfigures herself grotesquely she uh, enjoys uh, family life producing women uh, producing children and uh, she thinks that she has uh, a normal life M marian and peter's relationship are becoming more and more tenuous when uh, marian recognizes that um, 